Right now, some are saying only on Palm Beach would there be a debate over how to keep the town tidy. Neighbor, neighbors apparently are butting heads over leaf blowers and the noise that they often make. The now's Alana Quillen joining us live to explain. Alana? Well, Shannon, this leaf blower battle is constantly changing. A lot of those complaints coming from neighborhoods like this one. People say they just don't like the noise. So the town council actually considered banning leaf blowers altogether only to change their minds today after hearing another set of complaints. But I think to ban them is silly. It's a battle between town council and the people who make a living using leaf blowers. I want us to find a compromise here today. Town leaders say the ordinance was the result of years of complaints. And I'm telling you, you can't hear yourself think it's everywhere. And we've heard these complaints. There's a definite problem here. And, and it hasn't been rectified. The idea of a ban did not sit well with condo owners and other neighbors. I've done numbers on it where I'd have to hire one and a half more employees at a cost of about $75,000 to the condominium association. It's not a true representation of the majority of the people. So after a lengthy debate, town leaders will now vote to ban gas powered blowers, restricting companies to using electric. But business owners like Kurt Carlson tell me the move is outrageous. Each electric blower costs $4,000 a pop, and landscapers will have to pass those costs down to all of their clients. It's a huge, huge financial burden on any companies, especially the small companies. Now, I'm told many of the companies that work out here don't have electric blowers at all, so they would have to replace their units, which cost about $4,000 a piece. Now, all new at 6 o'clock, I'll break down how this new ordinance could affect these businesses and just destroy the way that they operate. Reporting live in Palm Beach, I'm Alana Quillen for The Now, South Florida. The 